Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Today I'm just going to very quickly talk to you about natural minor scales and harmonic minor scales. Um, I'm getting a lot of questions where people asking me what the difference is between the two and in some of my earlier videos where I've talked about minor scales I've used harmonic minor scales but some of you are asking about natural minor scales. Um, now I suppose traditionally in music we don't really use natural minor scales so much and definitely in my, I had a classical upbringing, I play three instruments and never have I played and really played a natural minor scale in any of my exams because I've grown up doing exams on all three instruments. So in the syllabuses you're usually asked to play either harmonic or melodic. Um, I'm not going to go too much into melodic scales and confuse everybody at this point but harmonic minor scales are they're scales based around the key signature so for example um, the key signature of C major doesn't have any sharps or any flats in but the key signature of C minor has three flats in a B flat an E flat and an A flat so you would play a C minor according to the key signature so it would be a normal C a normal D then it would be an E flat, an F, a G, an A flat, a B flat, and a C. So that would actually, that's what I've actually described as a natural minor scale. So you're basically, you're not deviating from the key signature at all. A harmonic minor scale is where you would do what the key signature says, except when you got to the seventh note, you would raise it up a semitone or a half a step, um, for those of you who aren't familiar with semitone. So for a C minor, which has three flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, you'd play a normal C, a normal D, then you'd play an E flat, as the key signature says, then you'd play an F, then you'd play a G, then you'd play an A flat, but the next note that you're coming to, which is the seventh note of the scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, so that's the seventh note of the scale, the key signature says it's a B flat, so you should play a B flat, but for a harmonic minor, you raise the seventh note, so you would raise a B flat to a B natural. So then you'd play a B natural and then obviously you'd finish off with a C and then you'd work your way back down again. So that's a harmonic minor scale. So a harmonic minor scale is where you would do exactly what the key signature said for or the minor key signature for that scale that you were in, F minor, G minor, D minor, whatever you were in. But when you got to the seventh note, whatever it would have been from the key signature, you would raise it up a half a step or a semitone. So a natural minor scale is where you would, um, it's the same process as a major scale, you would do exactly whatever it said in the key signature. So I know you can't see my hands on the piano, but if I was to play a C minor, which, or a C harmonic minor, which has a B flat, E flat, and A flat in the key signature, remembering that when I get to the seventh note, which according to the key signature should be B flat, I'm gonna raise it to a B natural. So a, ha a C harmonic minor would sound like this. Okay, and then a natural, a C natural minor would be. I believe that the natural minors are actually based on the Aeolian mode. So they are, they, they just do exactly what, what they say from the key signature. If I was playing um, a, I don't know, a C major scale, it doesn't have any sharps and any flats, so I wouldn't play any sharps or any flats. That's the sound that we know as the C major scale. And for the C melodic, sorry, for the C harmonic, it gives you that slightly different sound that you can hear at the top there. For a natural, it's a slightly different sound there. So, so there you go. It's um, There isn't really an awful lot of difference. If you were doing exams, you would do harmonic minors. It would be very rare that we do the natural minor scales. Um, in music, we quite often raise the seventh note just because it's the seventh note is like a leading note into the main note of the scale again. For example, the raising the B flat in C minor, the, the B is one before the, the main note of the scale then, but a bit higher up. 
um, you would raise that so it sounds like what we would call a leading note. So it sounds very nice leading in to the, the final note of C. So that's why we, we sort of do mainly harmonics. There are melodics, um, you raise the sixth and the seventh note on the way up and on the way down, you lower the sixth and seventh note back down to what the key signature is. Um, but like I said, I might do another video on that. I don't really wanna confuse everybody with the, with the melodics. I might write a description of the melodics in the description bar underneath, down below the video. So click more and you might see um, some descriptions of the harmonic and the natural and the melodic minor scale. But there you go, just a really quick video in about five minutes, just explaining natural minor versus harmonic minor. So if you like the video and everything, thumbs up, um, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.